Hey, hey everybody, this is Marcel with Ernie Racing News, the Canadian journalist, December 20th, 2023. Today's story, the United Nations adopted a resolution to stop glorifying Nazism in 118 to 49 vote. The resolution was drafted by Russia and was opposed by the US, UK, Canada, France, Spain, Germany, Italy, and Japan, as well as Ukraine, Georgia, Latvia, Lithuania, and a handful of others. All right, guys, let's dive into it. Here's an article on the Sputnik Globe. The UNGA approves Russian resolution on fight against glorification of Nazism. So the question is, why would certain countries like Canada, UK, US oppose such a thing? You'd have to think back to the control mechanisms, the bankers, the bankers, the elitists, the globalists, the ones that are pushing the narratives, pushing the military industrial complex, pushing the one world order, essentially the breakdown of the countries so they can do their reset. So they want racism, they want segregation. And so they don't want something that's going to fight it, right? And create inner and create individual laws in those countries to fight this problem that they want to be larger and larger as time goes on. So the UN General Assembly on Tuesday adopted a Russian drafted resolution on combating the glorification of Nazism. You could also say that anything from Russia they don't want to support, even if it's exactly what this is. The resolution was approved in 118 to 49 vote with 14 member states abstaining. So Russia, China, and Israel were among those that voted in favor the United States, Ukraine, United Kingdom, and Germany voted against. <laughs> the resolution was approved in the UN Third Committee in November and then was submitted for a UN General Assembly vote. The resolution is annually adopted by the UN General Assembly. The document is titled, Combating the Glorification of Nazism, Neo-Nazism, and Other Practices that Contribute to the Escalation of Modern Forms of Racism, Racial Discrimination, Xenophobia, and Related Intolerance. The resolution recommends that countries take appropriate concrete measures, quote, including in the field of legislation and education in accordance with their international obligations in the field of human rights in order to prevent the revision of the history and the results of the Second World War and the denial of crimes against humanity and war crimes committed during the Second World War, end quote. The resolu resolution also calls on member states, quote, to take active measures to ensure the education system develop the necessary content to provide accurate accounts of history. Remember that. Let's back up. Accurate accounts of history. This is why these countries are afraid of this resolution. They don't want the truth to get out there. They don't want accurate accounts of history. They want their propaganda to be told for centuries in their books. It's just like every book you read now on history. Who wrote the book? What narrative are they writing? So if they wrote books today about COVIDism over the last 2020, 2021, 2022, and 2023, what would those books tell? Would they tell the truth? Hell no, they wouldn't tell the truth. So continuing on, as well as promote tolerance and other international human rights principles. The authors of the document strongly condemn incidents relating to the glorification and propaganda of Nazism, in particular the application of pro-Nazi graffiti and drawings, including on monuments to victims of World War II. The resolution urges states to eliminate all forms of racial discrimination by all appropriate means, including, if circumstances so require, by legislation. In addition, the document strongly condemns the use of educational materials as well as rhetoric in the course of training that promotes racism, discrimination, hatred, and violence based on ethic, origin, nationality, religion, or belief. So why is Canada, USA, UK, Britain, why are they against this? You got to think about it, guys. They want to destroy us all. This is Ernie Racing News. Thanks for listening.